Hello friend, in this video I am going to tell you how to choose keywords for your research articles. Why these keywords, title, abstracts are so important. You know, when you are searching somebody papers, when you are searching somebody work, so in Scopus, there are three options to search. For example, either the Scopus will search that word in the keywords, either the Scopus will search that word in the abstract, either the Scopus will search that word in the title. So the main uh, criteria for choosing the keywords are very very different. You are not supposed to choose the keywords for your paper which you already use in the abstract. This is very very different. Very few people know this. Because when you use the same word in the keywords and when you are using that word in the abstract, then why the uh, Scopus have these different categories? That the Scopus will search that word for you in the keywords or in the abstract or in the title. Let's go to the real scenario here and you will see. Every paper, if you are want to publish in your work in Elsevier, so they will require the keywords. These keywords, it should be written in one word. Okay. These keywords should be separated in semicolon, this one. I did also mistake because this is my previous paper, so you need to write like this. And another thing is, uh, I want to mention here, there will be no A, no end. Uh, another thing is, this key, these keywords, bef uh, above this, these keywords, there is the abstract here, this is the abstract. If you find the same keywords here in the abstract, so this means you are doing mistake. If your keywords are also available in your abstract, so this means you are doing uh, a mistake. So you need to use different uh, words for your keywords. Those keywords should not include in your abstract or should not include in your title. I guarantee you that very, very few people know this. Why? Because in photovoltaic worlds, this is the common world. If somebody wants to search your work, so they will search in a photovoltaics. So if he or she is interested in photovoltaics, and when he bombard this world in the uh, Scopus or in the Web of Science or in Google, so if your paper is good paper, so uh, uh, he or she will receive your paper also. This is the keywords you see. So she or he will search your the photovoltaics words in the keywords, in the abstracts, in the title. So all in among these trees, this world should be in one. Either you have to use this word in the abstract or you have to use this word in the title or in the keywords. Similarly, look this SNO2 nanofibers. Uh, SNO2, titanium SNO2 nanocomposite, interface charge recombinations. For example, maybe if you are from different area, you are you will confuse this. If you are interested to work in solar cell, so these all keywords are closely related to solar cell. Nanotechnology, photovoltaics, interface interfacial charge recombinations, electron lifetime. All these keywords are related to the uh, 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 solar cells. So the keywords, you should choose the keywords for that specific field, for that specific research, which those keywords are not available in the abstract or not available in the title. This means that the title and the abstract in the keywords, these are the short things. For example, uh, if you go tell the Scopus to search my work in the whole paper, it is very difficult for the Google or for the Scopus to scan all your introduction, <laughs> result discussion. But the title, the abstract and the keywords are the short words for the Scopus or for the Google and the machine, the system can quickly scan and find your words and give you the result information. This is why people use keywords. Okay, I hope it is clear. So the keywords are few five to six words, uh, which are the keywords of your field. The key, the most important words. But those keywords should not be present in the abstract 
or in the title. You can use the synonyms for photovoltaic. For example, you can use solar cells, or you can use the photovoltaic cell, or you can use the photovoltaic device, something like that. You see, but you cannot use this uh, exact word in the abstract or in the title because then it is useless. Because if you are using here also, in the abstract also, in the title also, so this means that if somebody uh, want to search, so from three, so this is not the good way. Maybe he want to search solar cell. So you need to use solar cell in the abstract. If he want to use the search the keyword photovoltaics, so your keywords will help you. If he want to use the word solar cell to get the information, so you are abstract. And in, in, in your title, you use some also uh, disensitized solar cell something. So diff varieties. This is this these three sports places are per varieties in order to broaden to uh, uh, improve or to um, uh, expose your results, uh, your field to the uh, audience. So this is the way how to choose keywords and you need to separate this with this <coughs> these columns. Okay, so you need to use five to six keywords and it is LGV must uh, need these keywords and it is very important to put in your paper uh, in order to get more traffic, more people. So if people read your work, so they will give you uh, references and you will get citations. So you will, uh, the, your work will be recognizing by people. So you will be going higher and higher in your profile. Google Scholar Register Get Profile will go higher and higher because if you, if you people read your work more, so they will cite your work. Okay, thanks for watching.